whenever there's a flood um, in such a way. So you'll actually have infections related to different um, uh, different uh, mechanisms, I guess you would say. Uh, so because of the water standing there, uh, we will see water bond diseases. Uh, and these are because the water is contaminated. People may be ingesting this water um, on purpose or, or by mistake. And in that case, what we'll see are things like uh, cholera, diarrhea, a typhoid um, are associated with these. Then because of the st stagnant water, we'll, uh, there's an increase in mosquitoes. Um, so a lot of the mosquito-borne illnesses, so that would be things like dengue and malaria. And we are seeing a big resurgence of both of these infections currently um, in the province. Uh, and then finally, um, uh, because of people walking around and without shoes often, uh, because of trauma to the hands and, and the feet when, while they're walking, um, these wounds can get infected um, and that can cause infections of the skin. And similarly, um, because people are clustered together, there are some skin infections which can travel um, uh, through sort of these camps, uh, such as scabies, which causes a lot of itching. Uh, and then uh, you mentioned uh, wild animals, which may come out. And the two that we worried about that can cause a bad or be serious for us um, are dogs. Um, so dogs can carry rabies uh, and then uh, that may spread as dogs congregate and also snakes, uh, which can come out causing snake bites. So lots of health hazards that may occur. But along with this, it's important to understand that these are things that are happening acutely to people. But um, because of the flood situations, because people have lost uh, their houses, their belongings, um, there are a lot, number of people who have chronic infect, uh, diseases, for example, diabetes, blood pressure, um, some people who need antibiotics for a long time, like those with TB, and they don't have access to these um, their, their medications. And uh, what may happen is that um, after even the flood finishes, because their blood pressure, their sugars have been out of control, we may see an increase in kidney disease, increase in strokes, increasing um, in, in heart attacks. In these sort of circumstances where it's really an emergency, when people, when relief workers go and uh, set up a camp, uh, our goal really is to quickly triage and take care of the sick. Um, and often it's not sort of long-term care and long-term diagnosis. So uh, relief workers often have guidelines with them that if people come with diarrhea, with fever, what are the medications that they need to give immediately um, uh, for it? Um, at the same time, uh, nutrition is an issue which uh, may be uh, happening. And for nutrition, um, uh, you know, providing nutritional care, especially for children, is really important. Um, what do people who are out there, um, uh, the, the flood victims, uh, do? Well, there are a number of things uh, that can be done. Uh, first is ensuring that any water that's being take, ingested um, is safe. Um, now, uh, the, a lot of bottled water is being uh, donated, so uh, one can use that. Um, if uh, one has access to fire, um, uh, then water can be boiled, but that we know is not always possible. Uh, the third possibility is uh, chlorine tablets. So that's another thing that can be donated because water that's around can then be purified. Uh, and, uh, and then finally, um, there is one other method that we can use uh, or make water safe, which is uh, water can be filtered so that you know all the particles are, are out of it uh, and, and stored in a plastic, transparent plastic bottle without the wrapper, of course. And if it's left out in the sun um, for at least seven to 10 hours, um, the UV light of the of the sun um, can clean most of the bacteria that are there. So that would be sort of the last resort if there's nothing available. So there are things that can be done for water ingestion. Uh, and then uh, for mosquitoes, uh, that's sort of a little difficult uh, because obviously there are no, um, uh, you know, people don't have place to stay. Uh, uh, but things like mosquito repellents um, uh, can be donated and they can be used. Mosquito nets are another thing that can be uh, used in these cases. But this is sort of a very difficult and challenging time uh, for people to stay safe in. So um, similar things to what we just mentioned, um, uh, we, uh, but also uh, providing access to these areas. So where the government um, uh, workers can go and also private people, uh, 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 rescue workers who can go um, and uh, ensure that medical care is being provided. For stagnant water, um, the ideal thing is to drain the stagnant water, which is obviously not very simple um, or easy to do. Um, uh, and this will obviously naturally drain out um, as, as time goes by. Um, but uh, for, for, the, for the short term, these are the few things that can be done. I think the important thing is that um, uh, is everybody can help in whatever way they can, um, be it by providing uh, funds or money um, to uh, people who are going there, uh, providing uh, food or uh, water, especially uh, uh, to people going there. And finally, um, the government can help in coordinating um, uh, all the groups that are going so that um, 
places some places not over or underrepresented when they uh, when when aid is being provided to them. Uh, and obviously, the problem with floods is that this is uh, um, more long term than, for example, a storm. Um, and what we have seen in the past that there is a little bit of uh, fatigue uh, uh, that that sets in. Um, so uh, to keep uh, to not forget that you know th this is not something that's going to finish in a week uh, or two, and this may persist for some time. So it's really important that um, everybody contributes um, as much as they can. Um, remember, uh, even a little bit of contribution goes a long way. If everybody contributes even a little bit, um, it actually adds up to quite um, a bit. So, so please, uh, I would urge everybody to contribute um, either money or supplies or even time um, uh, uh, to, towards helping people who have been affected. Um, uh, and uh, remember, uh, even a little bit goes a, a long way.